Guess what day it is? New Guitar Day. Hey, what's going on? Thanks for joining me. And yeah, you heard the lady with the sexy voice right. It's New Guitar Day. Why? Because somebody over on Amazon decided to make me an offer that I couldn't refuse. Just how good was the offer? Why, it was so good that I actually lifted an embargo that I've had in place for about eight years regarding buying or just taking possession of black guitars. Because I got enough of those from people around the neighborhood, you know, because cheap guitars often come in black. But anyway, for this one, I lifted that embargo. I also lifted it for a guitar that happens to be coming to the house here in a couple of days. Look for that video soon. You still don't know what we're talking about, so let's take a look. This is the Les Paul Special Style Single Cut Guitar from Leo James. It arrived well packaged in a large rectangular box and inside of a styrofoam sarcophagus. And it looked good on arrival, but it only came with the cable to connect the guitar to the amp and an Allen key to adjust the truss rod. Let's check out how it sounds. To do that, I'll be plugging it into my Blackstar ID Core 40, which is going to be mic'd up to an SM57 into my Focusrite Solo. I'll be using two factory presets, basically the cleanest clean channel and the dirtiest distortion channel. On the clean channel, basically I'm going to do some scale runs and play a few chords. On the distortion channel, I'll play something that should be a little more familiar. And since we're trying to hear all the different tones that the guitar has to offer, I'll be doing this first in the bridge position, on the bridge pickup, then in the middle position, using coils from both pickups, and then in the neck position, using just the neck pickup.
So what did you guys think about how the guitar sounded? Let me know in the comment. And while you're down there, how about smashing that like button? Subscribe to the channel too, all right? As for me, I think this guitar sounded very good. Better than I expected it to for an entry-level guitar. And now, I'm going to do something we haven't done in a while. I went out and got a new luggage scale. And we're going to use this guy. It's a digital scale. To weigh Mr. Leo James over here our scorpion guitar all right Let's see how much this guy weighs all right let's see so it's not an overly heavy guitar which is good because it's supposed to be entry level so it's kind of supposed to be a one size fits most guitar you know what i'm saying so, now it's time to get into the details. All in, this guitar cost me right around $97 with sales tax and free shipping. But it didn't come with most of the usual extras. Did you even know that usually you get some extras or bonuses when you buy a guitar in this price range? Well, usually you do. But I'm not talking about things like the Allen key or the cord that connects the guitar to the amp. No, no, no. I'm talking about things like fret sprout and high frets. I'm talking about things like a nut that is poorly cut and tuners that contain gears which feel like wet oatmeal. But don't think that's all because, wait, there's more. You could also end up with a volume knob and a tone knob that work more like on-off switches than the dials that they actually are. Or, you could possibly end up with a set of pickups which make the guitar sound like Gilbert Gottfried on a bad day. Also, if the instrument you receive happens to have been completed on a Friday after lunch, then you can be guaranteed that your guitar is going to come with the need for you to learn how to do a setup. Impressively, this guitar didn't come with a lot of those issues. Yay! Now, starting from the top down, the tuners are actually really good for a guitar in this price range. They actually surprised me. By that, I mean that they work well. I mean, they can't compete with a set of tuners that cost 150 bucks, But they function properly and smoothly, which are things that a lot of guitars in this price range don't bother even trying to get right. The nut is plastic, but it's very well cut in all respects. There's not a hint of fret sprout anywhere on this guitar, and the fret work seems to be pretty good overall. The frets haven't been well polished, but they have been cleaned up well, and the edges seem to have been rounded slightly. The neck itself is straight, and the setup is good, with the guitar being almost in tune right out of the box. The volume and tone controls work as they should. <laughs> they don't act like on-off switches. In the three-way pickup selector feels nice as it has a good positive click. As for the finish, I can see some very fine paint swirl marks on the body in some areas that I haven't been able to get to come through on video, so sorry about that. They're very, very light and can only be seen if you look closely in really bright light, and even then the finish still looks really good and very glossy. Uh, given the price point, I really don't see this as being an issue. It seems to me that it's really about... Uh, not doing the final stages of the fine, fine buffing. Now, one other thing about the finish is that as I was running my hands around the contours of the guitar, I could feel where the wood was joined together ever so slightly. It seems to me that some of the prep work for the paint, or possibly even the finish work from the three pieces of wood being joined together to form the body, may have been a little rushed. Again, this is something that is hardly noticeable. No one else will notice it but you, and you will have to go looking for it and pay attention to where you're looking in order to find it. It's that minor. 
The pickups are a bit weak. The tones aren't necessarily bad, just a little dull and lackluster. But overall, they're fine for a beginner guitar player. If you boost the gain, tweak the EQ, and good tones can be found. But a more experienced guitar player is probably going to want to change the pickups. This is kind of normal in this price range. So, again, not a huge deal. And it's still a fully functional guitar ready to go. Now, before I share my final thoughts, if you got anything useful out of this video, then please smash that like button. And how about becoming a subscriber, right? Because I know most of you viewers haven't subscribed to the channel yet. And by doing that, you really do get to know whenever we post another one of these videos, and we get to see you more often. All right? And right now, it's more important than ever that you do that, because when we get to 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving this stuff away. This electric guitar right here, we're going to be modifying it here on the channel, so look for that. And when that's done and we hit 10,000 subscribers, somebody's going to win it. All it takes is being a subscriber and being active in the comments. you got to let me know that you're there, and the person who makes themselves the most known to me is going to take home the guitar. But don't let the fact that there's only one guitar being given away stop you, because I'm giving away other stuff as well. I've got wireless gear, I've got a mixer, I've got guitar strap. Uh, I'm forgetting some stuff for sure, but as we go on, I'll have other things that I'll be giving out as well. So, again, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, set up the notifications, and make sure I notice you, and then you can win. Now understand, nothing I've mentioned means it's a bad guitar, okay? It's not bad at all. It's actually a very good guitar for less than $100, or even maybe 200 bucks. Now, I took a moment to think back to all the guitars that I've owned that were like this one, basically an LP special. And when I do that, I can actually say honestly that I have paid more for and gotten less than what you get with this guitar. A beginner should pick this up as they can learn a lot on this guitar. It does everything that a first guitar should do, and it's comfortable to play. For someone who's a little more advanced and looking for a backup or an, ex you know, an inexpensive second guitar, or maybe something that's a bit of a project that they can learn to build on, then this is a great choice. Buying this guitar and swapping in a set of pickups should result in a really good sounding guitar that should last a long time, which the owner shouldn't have to worry about getting a little beat up. Now, for all of you conspiracy theorists out there, I am not an Amazon affiliate. The links that I provide you guys in the description down below this video aren't going to make me any money. They will, however, take you to this guitar, as well as several others and several different finishes. All right, which is a good thing because, honestly, this guy was selling pretty good when I picked mine up. So. If it happens, so happens that this finish is sold out, you should have several uh, different guitars to choose from, as well as this one and a couple of different finishes. If you click the link and happen to find another Leo James guitar that you think you might want, or maybe you've come to this video thinking about picking up a Leo James guitar already, then I'm here to tell you, go for it. Because the quality of the job that they did on the quality control for this guitar tells me that that wasn't a mistake. The company is contracted to do a job for the company that owns the brand, Leo James, right? And they don't want to lose, the, they don't want to blow the contract. They want to make sure they get paid in full, right? So they're going to do a quality job. And Leo James isn't going to do this with one or two guitars. They're going to do it with all of them across the board, right? Only makes sense. So the fact that they're doing it at all, the fact that I can see that they're doing it at all, tells me that they're doing it on all of them. So, in my opinion, if one of these guitars is, like I said, striking your fancy, then absolutely pick it up, all right? I don't think you'll be disappointed. But don't forget, too, that it comes with the Amazon return policy. You just have to type in a box, I don't want this, and Amazon will send the delivery guy there with the label. Done. So, you have nothing to lose, really. So if you're looking for a guitar for yourself or for somebody else this holiday season, definitely click the link down below, all right? While you're doing that, though, make sure you've subscribed, hit the notification bell, 
like the video, all that stuff, and be sure to stick around because we've got more videos like this coming, and you want to take part in the giveaway, right? You want to hit, up, hit us up on comments so that you, know, you can be involved in that too, right? Because who doesn't want to win something, all right? Anyway, you've been awesome. I've been RJ. Until the next one, take it easy.